Hello and good Thursday morning, everyone. A look at the storm track heading into your Thursday. A severe risk is possible today. I'll have the details in this quick update to get you out the door with what you need to know. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks for joining me on Hutch's Weather. Let's take a look at morning showers and storms possible in the central part of the Dakotas. It's the afternoon development that will really light up parts of eastern Montana as we sneak over there along and north of the Highway 2 corridor is where this model paints it. Now, as we go into the afternoon here, storms will expand into the oil patch. You see near Williston and the Watford City area, some storms starting to develop. And as these storms develop, all modes of severe weather will be possible. Very large hail over two inches in diameter. Wind gusts that could exceed 80, 80 miles per hour. And tornadoes cannot be ruled out. And in fact, a couple of the tornadoes may indeed be fairly strong. Now, as we go into the evening, this is 5 o'clock, they'll be approaching the Minot area in the Highway 83 corridor, racing their way across the state. And we now have a risk of severe weather as we go into the nighttime hours in the Devil's Lake Basin and the Red River Valley. Again, all modes of severe weather with what looks to be a very windy line of thunderstorms once again working its way through. Now, in the 8 to 10 o'clock time frame, the storm races through the eastern third of North Dakota. Do notice this. This model shows not much activity in the southern part of North Dakota, but it is certainly possible there as well. Some other models are showing that there is a chance or at least a risk of some storms developing there. Remember, no model does a great job every single time with every single thunderstorm. So into the overnight hours between 10 and 1 a.m., these storms will push into parts of western Minnesota and northwestern Minnesota. So from the international border through Bemidji, Bagley, uh, Lakes Country, a chance for strong thunderstorms overnight, mainly wind becoming the threat as we go through the overnight hours. So that is a look at your forecast for the track of storms today. Another round on a Friday night will be possible. More on that to come after we settle this event going on here. So here's a look at your forecast for tonight. Expect temperatures that will generally be, excuse me, in the morning here, 65 degrees with thunder showers possible in the central part of the state. Then as we go into your afternoon, the heat is on 90s where you see the white colors, including Lakes Country. And it does include you folks out here in parts of western Minnesota as well, 85 to 90 degrees. South winds will increase the moisture as well. It's going to be hot and humid, 91 both days. Friday morning round of storms possible. But the afternoon risk is the strong risk on Friday. All modes of severe weather will be possible. This storm set on Friday afternoon develops here in the eastern third of North Dakota and quickly moves through Minnesota, meaning we should be done with storms by the 10 o'clock hour in many of our locations. Thanks for watching and thanks for checking out HutchesWeather.com as storms approach your area on this afternoon. Uh, all of the information you need right at your fingertips here. Interactive radar, all my latest forecast videos. Thanks a lot for joining me and putting your trust in me and your weather information. I'll keep you apprised the best I can. I want to remind you I do have some family health issues going on that I'm attending to. So make sure you stay informed no matter where you get the information. Stay safe. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and have a great Thursday.